Chapter 1 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled The Why, Discovering Why We Do What We Do, lays the groundwork for the entire book by introducing the core concept of starting with why. Here are the key insights and lessons from this chapter. The Golden Circle, Sinek introduces the Golden Circle, a model with three layers, why at the core, how in the middle, and what on the outside. He argues that inspirational leaders and organizations begin with defining their why. What versus why? Sinek distinguishes between how most organizations communicate, which is primarily focused on explaining what they do and how they do it, and the less common but more impactful approach of starting with why. Inspiring action. The author asserts that starting with why is crucial because it resonates with the part of the brain responsible for emotions, trust, and decision-making. By beginning with why, leaders can inspire action and cultivate trust and loyalty. Key lessons from chapter one. Defining your why, the first and most crucial step for both individuals and organizations is to identify their core purpose, belief, or cause. Your why serves as the driving force behind your actions. Communicate from the inside out, shifting your communication focus to start with why allows for deeper connections and more meaningful engagement with your audience. Chapter 2, The Law of Diffusion of Innovation. Chapter 2 of Start With Why delves into the law of diffusion of innovation, exploring how ideas and innovations spread through society. Simon Sinek introduces the bell curve, which illustrates the distribution of adoption of new ideas, and explains the roles of various groups in this process. Key Insights Innovators and Early Adopters Innovators are the first individuals to embrace new ideas, often motivated by their passion for the concept itself. Early adopters follow, sharing a similar enthusiasm for change and innovation. The Tipping Point Sinek discusses the tipping point, the moment when an idea gains enough momentum to become a trend. This occurs when innovators and early adopters significantly influence the early majority. Key Lessons Identify early adopters. To drive the widespread adoption of your why or innovation, focus on identifying and engaging early adopters who genuinely resonate with your vision. They can serve as powerful advocates in your journey. Build momentum. Understand that reaching the tipping point is essential for broad adoption. Concentrate your efforts on gathering support from innovators and early adopters to create momentum and influence the early majority making the adoption of your why more likely. In Chapter 3 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled The Golden Circle, the focus shifts to the core concept of the golden circle itself. Sinek revisits the model with its three layers, why, how, and what, and discusses the significance of beginning with why to inspire action and engagement. Insights Starting with why offers a more profound and compelling approach to communication and leadership. The Golden Circle provides a framework for understanding how great leaders and organizations operate from the inside out, aligning their actions with their core purpose. Key Lessons The power of the Golden Circle Understand that the Golden Circle is not just a conceptual model, it's a practical tool for guiding your actions. Make it a habit to lead with why in all aspects of your life, as it can lead to greater influence and success. In Chapter 4 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled This Is Not Opinion, This Is Biology, Sinek delves into the biological underpinnings of the why concept. He explores the role of the limbic brain, which is responsible for emotions, trust, and decision-making, and how it influences our response to messages and actions. Insights. Emotions, rather than rational reasoning, play a significant role in decision-making and forming trust-based relationships. Key Lessons. Craft emotionally resonant messages, to effectively communicate your why and inspire action, Focus on crafting messages and stories that connect with people's emotions and values. These messages are more likely to create lasting impressions and foster trust. Authenticity matters. Be authentic in your communication and actions, aligning them with your core purpose and values. Authenticity resonates more deeply with others, making them more likely to embrace your why. In Chapter 5 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled Clarity, Discipline, and Consistency, the author highlights the importance of maintaining clarity, discipline, and consistency when communicating and living by your why. Insights Clarity is essential in ensuring that your why is clearly understood and embraced by others. Both wit consistency in communication and behavior reinforces the why and helps build trust and loyalty. Key Lessons Align all decisions with your why, ensure that every decision and action you take, whether personal or professional, is consistent with your core purpose or belief. This alignment helps create a sense of purpose and trust. In Chapter 6 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled The Origins of A Why, Sinek explores the significance of understanding the historical context and motivations of an organization or individual in order to discover and articulate their why. Insights 
Examining an organization's history and the beliefs of its founders can unveil the driving force behind their actions and the core why. Key Lessons Study your organization's history. For organizations, it's essential to delve into their history and examine the motivations and values of their founders. This historical context can reveal the core why that guides their actions. In Chapter 7 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled The New Competition, Sinek discusses how organizations can stand out and thrive in a competitive landscape by consistently communicating their why. Insights In today's saturated market, competition is fierce, and many products and services are similar. Traditional differentiators like price and features are less effective. Key Lessons Develop a unique value proposition. Your why should be the foundation of your value proposition. Craft a unique and emotionally resonant message that reflects your core beliefs and why you exist. In Chapter 8 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled The Emergence of Trust, Sinek emphasizes the pivotal role trust plays in leadership and business, highlighting how consistently communicating your why fosters trust. Insights Trust emerges when people consistently observe actions, decisions, and communications that align with an organization's or individual's why. Key Lessons Consistency builds trust. To build trust, ensure that your why is consistently integrated into your actions, communications, and decisions. People trust what is reliable and predictable. Prioritize relationships. Recognize that trust is a fundamental element in relationships. Building trust with employees, customers, and partners is a long-term investment that pays significant dividends. In Chapter 9 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled How a Tipping Point Tips, Sinek explains the dynamics of creating a movement and how consistently sharing your why can lead to a tipping point, where your cause or idea gains significant momentum. Insights Tipping points occur when your why resonates with a critical mass of people, creating a groundswell of support. Key Lessons Passionately share your why, communicate your why with conviction and passion to inspire others to join your cause or movement. An authentic and passionate message is contagious. In Chapter 10 of Start With Why by Simon Sinek, titled Start With Why But Know How To Scale, Sinek addresses the challenge of preserving your why as your organization grows and expands. Insights Scaling an organization while preserving the core why requires strong leadership and a steadfast commitment to values and beliefs. Key Lessons Strong leadership matters. As you grow, ensure that your leadership team embodies your why and is committed to maintaining its integrity. Leadership sets the tone for the entire organization. Consistency is key. Maintain consistency in your actions, decisions, and communications as you scale. Alignment with your why should be a fundamental guiding principle in all aspects of your organization's growth.